this time around in 2022 is a rebuilding year for us and we really want to, to allow the team to do their best and still bring some quality performance so Jamaica still remember that home with is still around. Well, the plan is always to, to be one of those competitive teams who try to win, but realistically this time around um, we don't have the, the team um, to be a contender, but um, we are trying our best to try to work ourselves back to the top. But this time around in 2022, it's a rebuilding year for us and we really want to, to allow the team to do their best and still bring some quality performance so Jamaica still remember that home with Dengal is still around. Performance meaning you finish fourth, you think you can actually move up two spots even second this year? Based off the other meets, um, recently central champs, I think we are a little bit way off to be um, in the top two, but it's a championship, and anything can happen. So I'm going to send my team out there to try and do their best. Whichever position you put them um, at the end of at the five days, then we'll be grateful. But in terms of the points that would be on the table, uh, we're not within the trilogy mark at this point in time. So if we don't get there, we'll not be in the top two. What's the strong point that you Well, so far, I'd have to say uh, the mega distance have been holding up very well. Um, we have been doing well at all the development meets, central champs, and going to champs, I'm expecting the same strong performance. Our quarter mile, as usual, have been doing well, and they are still um, our flag bearers. You know, we are known for good quarter mile, and so far, you know, they are, they are, these they are the areas. We have been some quality um, persons in the field, especially Cedric Williams, who at the moment um, is ranked number one in the under 20 discuss. And she is our flag bearer um, as we speak. Well, my preparation is quite simple just hydrate, train hard, um, eat properly, respect the coaches, believe in them in what they say, and also believe in myself. And also. Going into you know a different class, do you feel the same sort of excitement and expectations because you were the favorite in class too? Um, I feel the same. Um, the expectations would be a bit higher because coming up from class three, breaking records at championships and all, um, people would expect me to do at least a great amount than the champs record or than the world junior record. Not champs, anything can happen, coach. So you are not there looking to say you know something might happen with one of the top two teams that you might just get get there. Why 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 make like that though? No. Definitely, um, as a coach going into the championship, I would never eliminate ourselves to a lower position. We always go there and think we can win. You know, so I'm saying that if teams above us don't turn up and have their best days, then anything is possible and we'll seize the opportunity once it's available. So I'm not saying that we cannot win, but um, all being equal, all being well, um, I don't think we should be in the top two based on um, the, the quality and the numbers that we have at this point in time. But we are going out there to win. Remember, um, we are used to winning and Jamaica um, always like to see Wormwood on top. You know, we still have fans who are expecting good performance from us. We have to still ensure that we turn up and ensure that they pay their money to come and see our athletes. So we're not going to just be go there and just make up the numbers. Seeing our athletes are the ones who have been given um, years of experience. They should be the ones who should turn up and motivate the younger ones, get them through all, all of these um, challenges in terms of pressure from the crowd, from the fans, from the supporters to perform. I say to them that hard work and determination is a, is a must. You have to, once you go there and say you're going for something, you have to just make up your mind and say that's what you're going for. You cannot doubt yourself because when you doubt yourself, you're not going to get accomplished at all. Well, the senior ones, uh, as you speak, are people like Ricky and Russell, um, Samantha Price, Cedrica Williams, Torian Node, and uh, um, Camille White, and you have Kiara Meekle, who have been doing well for us since class two. So, definitely, these are the persons we are looking forward to lead the way um, going to Champs 2022. You'll be running the 4 8 double at Champs this year. Sticking on 400, they came second at Central Champs. What's the plan going into Champs? Well, my plan going into Champs is to deliver more in my 400 so that I can PB. Okay, and gold medal is something on your mind? Yes, sir. And what do you think you have to do to get the gold? Just stay focused and continue to push harder. And in terms of your preparation for champs, how that has been going? It has been going on very well because I have been training very, very hard. And your PB, you say you want a PB. What's a PB now? 54.33. How low are you able to go? 52. Tell me about the 800 and preparation. 
um, my preparation for the inter for the eight hundred is going on well as well. Yeah. But I want to lower my PO to fifty to two point nine. Two minute nine. Yes, sir. And what do you think you have to do to lower that now? Well, I think that I must stay focused as well and continue working hard to towards it. My preparation for this year, going towards champs, it's okay because I'm doing all the training that I'm supposed to do and I'm accomplishing them all injury free. Why the two thousand people chase and why the three thousand? Because that's what I'm good at. If, well, when I just came I was doing eight and fifteen and I wasn't that good. It's since recently that I have my last year, I'll be doing multi tasks like the three thousand, the steep chase, the eight hundred and the fifteen hundred. Was it something that the coach said that made you decide to switch from the eight and the fifteen to do the two thousand? Well, yes I think. He saw that I can go at a longer distance, so maybe that's why he changed me. But um, what's your what's your favorite event? Steep or chase or two thousand? <laughs> well, I I don't I don't say this like, but at times the steep chase going over the bar, yes, yeah, so it's a bit challenging. But I found myself doing better at that event. The pressure is, is always on part of, of the, the 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 whole elements, but we tend to allow them to use pressure as a motivation to say that this is what you have been preparing for. Don't go there. Don't be too nervous. It's okay to be nervous before you start, but once you get to your area, you should be relaxed and be confident in that the work has been put in. So now it's your time to, to go and show. So the pressure should not allow them to, to underperform. It does happen, but we try our best to minimize those type of unnecessary pressure that will allow the athletes not to perform to their best ability. So now I'm not pressured because I know I can do it and I'm going to do it. Honestly, when I'm in training grounds at school, I don't feel... I don't really feel or hear about track and field so I'm not pressured. When I'm at um, track meets, um, I just compete and at the best of my ability. Surprise, though, 2013, last time you won this title, you know, you, you, you have been a powerhouse for, for yeah. many, many years before that, you know. You know, what, what's going on? Well, um, just like any other sporting team in the world, it's hard to sustain that winning um combination years after years. We'd have gotten 10, and I think um the second uh, second best winning streak after Veer. So other schools have been working now, trying to ditch on us. They, they have done that so far, but I know that, you know, within short time, with the support of our principal um, fans, staff, we, we should be trying to make him back our way to the top. But, uh, it's been a while, you know, we have, have, I'm a person who used to championship. We normally let our parish um, celebrate after champs. It's a long time they haven't gotten that opportunity. So we are working our way back to, to get them back to, to know that the championship can return to Manchester in, in, in a very short order. In the present climate, you know, coming out of a COVID, um, which have affected our program a bit. Last year we had a smaller number and, and, and that just we're still trying to, to rebound. So I think within the next, Two to three years, we should be back. Uh, very, very competitive, if not um, the champion.